the fact is that could affect the couple's fertility uh, many. Okay. Um, if we look at the very fundamentals of fertilities, I always look at three main ingredients. The first relates to the woman's ovulation, so we need eggs. The second is to do with the man's sperm, and we need good quantity and good quality of sperm. And the third main ingredient is the fallopian tubes, a woman's fallopian tubes, because this is where the egg and the sperm meet. So any factors that can affect those three ingredients can interfere with the couple's infertility, uh, interfere with the couple's fertility. There are other conditions which are outside these three ingredients. For instance, the condition of endometriosis may also have an adverse effect on fertility. If a woman has irregular menstruation, or irregular ovulation, then that would have a major impact on the ability to conceive. Um, and that in itself is, once again, is the other things that we are seeing more common because of the phenomenon of people getting more overweight. We do know that women's weight has a major impact on the ovulatory status. Generally speaking, the extremes of weight, too much weight or too little weight, may stop people from ovulating regularly. Certainly, one would recommend a healthy diet in women particularly who are trying to become pregnant, avoiding anything that's excessive in their diet, in terms of carbohydrates, in terms of uh, fat. Furthermore, one would recommend avoid any potential adverse part of the diet, which is that of alcohol and perhaps cigarette smoking. One of the major problems that we as fertility specialists encounter is that there are more and more older women coming to see us seeking help. It should be pointed out that age has a major effect on how fertile a woman is. The older a woman is, the less chance of pregnancy and less likely any form of fertility treatment will be successful. So one of the advice that I would give women contemplating pregnancy is that they should be trying earlier rather than later. Certainly by, early, by the age of early 30s, one should really be seriously considering trying for a baby because by late 30s, the chance would be very much reduced. Family history is very important when we look at a couple's fertility. There are some conditions, particularly in women, which pass on from one generation to the next. For instance, conditions like polycystic ovarian syndrome and endometriosis, there are some families which are more prone to them. So it would be advisable to talk to the members of the immediate family, mother, aunt, sisters, and so on, to see if there have been any known problems in the family. If a couple ex have experienced difficulty conceiving, then the first thing to do is to get advice. It could be initially just advice from family members or friends, particularly those who may have gone through the process of infertility before. But one has to be very careful that they are reliable source of advice. Apart from that, then the next step, I suppose, would be the general practitioner. Although one has to say general practitioner only have a superficial knowledge 
of fertility. So ultimately, one would suggest that advice from a fertility specialist who can then provide a full assessment and the appropriate and reliable information so that a couple can make some informed choices in terms of tests, in terms of treatment for their fertility. Most couple will have a baby, whether naturally or with help. If you look at statistics, 85% of couples trying for a baby will be successful in the first year of trying. So only about 15% may have difficulty. Even among those 15%, half of them will become pregnant within the second year. So overall, one would say that the chance of people of not having ever a baby is very small. And there are now major advances in fertility treatment that can help majority of couples. Mm -hmm.